Did you know that kidney diseases are increasing? As the kidney infections are increasing, kidney stones are increasing and the kidney tumors are increasing as well as the chronic kidney disease cases are also increasing. I am Dr. Vaipi Singh Rana, urologist, uro-oncologist and kidney transplant surgeon at BLK Max Hospital. Hello everyone. Today I am going to tackle a very pertinent question. Does high protein intake cause kidney damage? It is very very important to understand the effect of proteins over the kidney. As you all will agree that our organs are because of our genetics, our food intakes and our breathing patterns. The health of our organ depends on what we eat. Kidney is the organ which filters out the metabolic waste from our diet. High protein generates more of the nitrogenous waste and these high proteins basically increases the hyperfiltration of the kidneys. They are the cause of kidney stone formations also and we have to understand it's not like as a myth is like uh, if you take more sugar you can have diabetes. It's not like that. If you are diabetic you are not allowed to take sugar. Similar way. If you are, have a kidney disease, you are not allowed to take high proteins. Your protein should be 0.6 to 0.8 gram per kg body weight if you are sick. Now the fact comes if you have the healthy kidneys. First to understand that if you have the healthy kidney, you have to have checked your BP, check your sugar, check your creatinine and check your urine for the protein estimation. Then and if you are more gym uh, going and more athletic, you have definitely a higher requirement of protein. But before that, you have to make sure that your kidneys are healthy to take up that much high load of the protein. Otherwise, the kidney will get damaged and it creates a problem. We have seen many cases because of high protein intake, those kidneys, they are damaged or the progression has increased. So it's very important to balance out your diet. It is very, very important to have the protein also in the normal and balanced amount. And more important fact is that your vegetarian based protein intakes are always better than the non veg proteins. There is no doubt about it. There are lots of evidences based scientific studies and epidemiological studies to prove and back up this fact. The second important thing I want to tell you is that the protein intake in less than 65 years of age should be less and more than 65 years of age should be little more than this. So there are many studies which have proven that all cause mortality is low when after 65 years intake your protein intake is slightly on the more side. So to make sure you have to take protein in the moderate amount and with the protein intake, whenever you are taking on slightly more protein diet, if you are going for uh, exercises and all that, you have to keep your body hydrated, keep your kidney hydrated. These two things go hand in hand. Hydration with the moderation of protein will take care of your kidney. I hope you found this video informative. And if you have any comment, you can ask them in the comment box. And thank you for watching.